And amid the surging crime in major cities across the country, the left continues to work towards defunding the police. A new story on foxnews.com states that a soon to be released report will show that almost half of police departments nationwide are getting their budgets cut. And in other news about your security, the Trump administration has just gotten a big win. The Supreme Court has denied a request to halt construction of the border wall. Joining us now for reaction, DHS Acting Deputy Secretary Ken Cuccinelli. Uh, thank you so much for joining us tonight. I'd like you to first re react to the late. Supreme Court uh, clearing the way for some $2.5 billion of Pentagon allocated funds to be used for the border wall. Hey, two enthusiastic thumbs up. This is, uh, look, the, the president has told us and he has directed his, his administration to press ahead aggressively, but always within the boundaries of the law, always within the boundaries of the law. And the Supreme Court acknowledged that today and has let the building of the wall continue. We passed 200 miles more than a month ago. We'll pass 300 miles before, well before the end of the summer, and we'll pass 400 miles not long after that, we'll certainly get well over 400 miles by the end of the year, just as this president promised. So Supreme Court has, has kept us free to do that. Customs Border Protection and the Army Corps of Engineers are pressing ahead hard to make it happen. And today's win was a big one to make sure we stay on track for that goal. It will, and it will be most helpful. Having been on the border as much as I have, it yep. will be a huge help to the, to the Border Patrol, no doubt about it. Um, I also want to get your Absolutely. reaction to the story you can read about on foxnews.com, which is this idea that half, half of police departments are getting budget cuts in this time and, and age right now. I got to tell you, that's going to be devastating to the country and its residents. We're, we're, they're supposed to be protecting the citizenry. You can't just go right. out and cut their budget right. and not expect, you know, to have a consequence. You know, and that's why police become police officers, is they want to do good and protect their communities. You, of course, you have the every so often bad apple, but there's no profession on earth that doesn't have that. And, and now... Um, for purely political reasons, you have left-wing governments, city councils, mayors, and so forth, cutting these budgets. And, and let's be really clear about who is hurt the most. Where do you need policing the most? You need it the most in the poorest communities, the communities that are most crime-ridden, and they are disproportionately minority. And this president is upset about that. He fights that continuously. As you know, he was he passed criminal justice reform, so it's a balance. He's very tough, very tough on crime, but he also knows we need to get it right. He did what his predecessor wouldn't do on the reform side, and now we have all these left-wing local governments that are trying to gut their police departments. You've seen it in New York. Yeah. We're seeing it all over the country, and it is bad news for the communities that need it the most. It's amazing to me, the Democrats' love of government, government employees, and more government, except yeah. when it comes to law enforcement, then they just want chaos, right. and they're okay with rioting and domestic terrorism. I mean, that's the way I see it. That's what I see is going on. I, I need you to comment yeah. and give us the latest about Portland, because there was a transition based on what the governor sure. was doing with the state police. Where is the line when, the, the, when President Trump might step in with the National Guard? Is it getting better, and will it solve the problem? Well, it's it's the, the violence was declining this week. And then last night, the state police did what we've been asking them to do for months, and that's show up. And um, and they did show up and they began doing the policing that the Portland police wouldn't do around the courthouse and the federal facilities. And lo and behold, in two months, we had our first night without violence last night. Uh, all, and this is an I told you so moment, really. But we've still got to get through the weekend. Weekends are always uh, tougher for yeah. the from a rioting and violent standpoint. We'll see how tonight, tomorrow night go. But we're going in the right direction. With part of the reason we were positioned to go in the right direction is because President Trump uh, supported us in advancing officers into Portland to protect that courthouse, to protect the federal facilities. And frankly, I think the state and local governments were just embarrassed uh, that that we were holding out the way we were and doing our job and performing our mission where everywhere else in America, even other cities where the president is at odds with the mayor, at odds with the mayor, we still cooperate at the professional law enforcement yeah. level, yeah. but not in Portland. 
and Governor Brown has changed that. I will give her that credit. This is a win-win for, uh, for the president and this administration and Governor Brown and, and her state police. Uh, it makes Portland look pathetic, more pathetic. Yeah. But uh, be that as it may, uh, they did what we asked. Took them a long time to do it. But as soon as they did it, it started to work. Yeah, it's amazing. Just have local law enforcement do their yeah. job. I, I, it's amazing that that was a heavy lift and, and ask. Thank you so much for joining uh, us uh, this evening.